silkies okay so this video is definitely late but actually um in my defense this movie has been delayed a year so now i get to finally review this trailer i meant to do it about a year ago and i figured that the movie was going to come out and it didn't actually come out i got a couple of figures from halloween um that i'm going to show you all okay so these aren't related to the new movie but if you're watching this video you're definitely a halloween michael myers fan so i don't think i don't think you'll mind so i got a couple of these figures um from halloween 2 ultimate michael myers and open it inside look at that i am like i was like wow when i saw this when i ordered this and you get like the different masks and you have this here um and the back as you can see and the funny blonde michael myers mask um that they messed up in in the movie i thought that was funny too because a lot of people were like why was michael myers blonde temporarily but it was actually just a mistake because they did not mean to do that but it's funny that they included it um so and this is the other halloween figure that i got and love it absolutely love it okay so this is my favorite movie and i'm going to keep mentioning that like a billion times okay so without further ado i'm going to go ahead and review the trailer and let you know my thoughts i know there's several versions out there of the trailer there's a shorter version and a longer version but i'm going to go ahead and try the longer version which is about one minute okay so that basically shows where Lori tries to kill him again. <laughs> he just stands there and watches her and the house burns down. Okay. Long, long time ago, it was a night of great power. Am I losing my mind? People danced and they played games and they dressed up in costumes. Hoping you know, Lori to is ward like, off God, I'm so sick of him. Spirits, <laughs> especially the boogeyman. October 16th. Allison? Wow. Michael's come home, hasn't he? Well, they should have known he was going to come back. We did what needed to be done. Tommy Doyle. What are you doing here? Interesting new scenes. We're on the scene of a violent attack. Oh, crap. Let's take off your mask. <laughs> wow, that was interesting. I'm going to watch the shorter trailer that I originally saw or had saved. Um about a year ago and I mean that was the extended version so I wanted to actually see like if there's much of a difference since last year um so I'm gonna check it out I actually like this one better the build up you're like, no, don't put the fire out. You're going to save him. Let him burn. Lori was badass in the last one, just so you know. If you haven't seen it. So, yeah, that one says it comes out October 15th. Okay. That's 2021. Okay, so my thoughts it's been so long since the last one like i think i need a refresher and watch the original um remake they they made like in 2018 because it's been that long for me since i've watched it now i've been binge watching the old halloweens um the last couple of weeks um i watched the original halloween i don't know how many damn times in my whole lifetime but i watched it again i never get tired of it so that's always still gonna be my favorite um 2018 is gonna be a close 
second, but I really don't know how I'm going to feel about this one. I'm going to be honest. Like, I understand the delay, but nothing about it is grabbing at me like 2018. Um, I'm still going to fucking watch it because it's Halloween and that's my favorite franchise. So, um, but nothing about the trailer is really grabbing at me except Lori like, oh shit, don't fucking save him. We got to do this shit all over again. So she's basically an extended version of 2018, to be honest, like nothing sticks out. Now when a trailer for 2018 came out. That definitely caught my attention because Lori was like this badass older woman. He was like done with Michael shit. She's done with running. She's like, I'm gonna kill this motherfucker. Um, which is welcome, a welcome change of pace. Lori always wanted him to die. Okay, so since um the storyline storyline got changed, obviously most um Halloween fans know that the storyline got changed because because Lori had died and um and then they brought her back later and, you know, the rest of the Halloweens. And then Rob Zombie had did his, which was a disaster. Um, so I like this new storyline that continues from um, the other ones. Um, once they revive Lori, pretty much. And she has these kids now, um, and not the other little girl. Um, but yeah, like, I like them all. Even though the timeline changes, even though things are a little bit different, I like them all. Um, but the, my favorite is still always going to be Halloween and 2018 so far. And I don't know how I'm going to feel about this one because um, it is actually not grabbing my attention. It's just a continuation of 2018. Okay, so Halloween Kills is the next one. First it was Halloween 2018. Then it was Halloween Kills, which is coming up this year, um, closer to Halloween. Um, and then Halloween Ends is something they're going to do in the future, like far in the future. So I'm not really sure when Halloween Ends is going to come out. Um, hopefully it has a more exciting trailer than um, Halloween Kills. I want to talk about something. Okay, Halloween fans will appreciate this. I actually want them to talk more about the backstory about Michael Myers. Okay, so there's this thing. Um, I don't know if it's a theory or act the actual story um, of Michael Myers because people are like why won't he die I mean you saw like Lori um, burn him in the house and he's just standing there he doesn't die like they keep trying to kill him and I, not too many people know this but Michael Myers was marked with a curse I believe and it, it's a part of a cult and they need him to kill all of his family and he's been chasing Lori all of her life and it's kind of like that's his main purpose in life is to kill all of his family and obviously if he kills Lori he's just gonna go after um, her children um, it's like a never-ending thing with him and I, I would never get tired of watching this but I, I kind of wish they would d dwell more into the story um, but it kind of makes you wonder like if they did that would it make it less interesting <laughs> because the whole appeal about Halloween is that Michael Myers is stalking everybody uh, mostly Lori and he kills anyone who gets in the way obviously um, but I'm hoping they give a little bit of backstory that's just one thing I'm asking for you know a lot of Halloween fans won't want that they're like no no no, no let's just stick to the slasher stuff I want to actually go into the backstory a bit so I'm not sure if that's where they're gonna head with this one god just like watching the original and then looking at it now I'm like reminiscing I have nostalgia right now so forgive me I'm, I'm thinking about like when I first saw Halloween and I just watch it again Lori is like she looks the same but she's like older and it's just like amazing watching her grow up through this franchise you know I'm so glad Jamie Lee Curtis actually decided to continue. Um, it really isn't the same without her, honestly. Like, um, I know there was a period where she just didn't want to do anymore for a little bit, and she's come back, obviously. So, um, so glad. I hope she sees it to the end. Um, I really hope they stop after Halloween ends. Um, I, I love Halloween, but you really can't. Well, I kind of thought this before. You really can't beat the original. Um, the original is always going to be better. But 
you can only do so much, you know, at least I think so anyway. Um, it's kind of the same plot line. So I hope they kind of leave it after the third one for at least for a long time, like at least a decade or more um, if they do decide to remake it. But God, just don't make Michael Myers talk. <laughs> That's all I'm asking. Well, thank you for watching my video. Thank you for checking out my figures with me. I hope you guys like that as well. I do plan on getting some more Halloween stuff. Um, I already have a Halloween mask, but I do eventually want to get all the masks from all the movies um, sometime in the far future. And um, let me know your thoughts on the figures and the movie trailer and the movie. Are you excited for it to come out? Um, are you, what are your thoughts? Do you like the first one? Do you like the second one coming out, which is Halloween Kills? And then are you excited for Halloween Ends? Thanks for watching, Silkies. Like and subscribe for more videos.